You thought I was going to miss Poetry Thursday, didn't you? It's been a crazy week. But a little something for Poetry Thursday. This poem is called Sci-Fi. There will be no edges but curves, clean lines pointing only forward. History, with its hard spine and dog-eared corners, will be replaced with nuance, just like the dinosaurs gave way to mounds and mounds of ice. Women will still be women, but the distinctions will be empty. Sex, having outlived every threat, will gratify only the mind, which is where it will exist. For kicks, we'll dance ourselves before mirrors studded with golden bulbs. The oldest among us will recognize that glow, but the word sun will have been reassigned to a standard uranium neutralizing device found in households and nursing homes. And yes, we'll live to be much older, thanks to popular consensus. Weightless, unhinged, eons from even our own moon will drift in the haze of space, which will be, once and for all, scrutable and safe. That is the very first poem in Life on Mars by Tracy K. Smith, which I will be reading as part of my uh, New World's November exploration of some sci-fi poetry. So, hope you're having a great week, and uh, I'll be back with a longer Poetry Thursday next week.